video. If you say that I abuse animals, you abuse plants. You're a, a plant killer. You drag them out. You're of giving the, me really good soil. content here, dude. Eh? Yeah. Well, cool. Do it that, your way. But if you're gonna yeah. come and touch my meat, bro, we're gonna have a problem, man. Wait, you, you're threatening me, mate. Yeah, hey, look at him. Hey, man. Awesome. Do you know me? Yeah, I know, man, from the YouTube videos, bro. Ah, uh, you do, you watch yeah, the YouTube videos yeah. then? Yeah, where are you from? Czech Republic. Ah, oh, okay, cool, yeah. I'm Frank, by the way. Frank, Joey, oh, nice, yeah. nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you, mate. Um, yeah, man. You've got an interesting argument against veganism, I hear. Oh, bro, I've been there, you know. You were vegan, now you're, you're an ex-vegan? I was actually brought into vegan family, so... My you were father, born into a vegan family? Yeah, my father is actually 67, he's still believing in it. He's actually very angry with me because I'm not following his wishes anymore, you know. And he's not doing it for like a big uh, animal rights. He he just believes in the energy. Oh, uh, hell. Well, yeah. that's not what veganism's about. It's about animal rights. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I understand your point of view. And I, I would probably never buy a food, you know, the animal from places where... It's been cruelly treated. Treating them. Yeah, exactly. Okay, explain what cruel treatment is to you. What is Look, cruel treatment? Um... Keeping the animal out of his natural environment. Okay. So as long as the animal is on the soil and is given a fresh water and is exposed to the sun, okay. I found it to be right to be used to feed our needs as okay. a as a humans. And the what happens to them in the slaughterhouse? They say this cow above here, this is a dairy cow. Say she was on grass her whole life. Look, you then, can you can see this as a as a result of our society, you know. Oh yeah, of course. Because we we're trying to provide a rights for everyone. Try, trying to provide rights for rights. everyone. Yeah, that's the you know the mission of governments, right? Yeah. Government has its people, and the people ex, ex, expect the government provide the needs for the mass, masses. And you know, back in the they day, don't always though, do they? Oh, it's always it's, activists it's that change the government uh, with yeah. the, the, gov the government are always changed by activists because if you look at human slavery in America that the government was sanctioning this human slavery and it wasn't till there was this civil war you're right yeah. you know so yeah. the thing is with animals the government aren't just going to give them rights that's not how it works we decide that it's wrong us as people and we boycott it and then we stand against it and lobby government and say give these animals rights you know what I mean but you can't give animal rights because... What do you mean by animal rights? I'll tell you what I mean. Do you, what do you mean by animal rights? You can treat them better. That's welfare. You, you, you can't give them choice of, uh, like, you, they can't choose for themselves, obviously, you know? Yeah, but we give children rights and they can't choose for themselves. Oh, that's, that's a fair yeah. point. Yeah, you know, like a child, I mean, I mean basic fundamental rights, like not to be enslaved, treated as a product, chopped up into pieces and sold, you know. Well, just but how you then can consume it, you know, in the in the good manner. You have to somehow, you know, prepare exactly. it, Exactly, that's man. my exact point. Yeah. You cannot consume animals without robbing them of their life and their rights and chopping them up into pieces. Yeah, it's impossible. Then how can you provide for people in city like this with a high quality food, man? How would you do it in your, yeah. in your well, idea? We already grow more than enough food to feed this population and the population of land animals, which is ten times our population. You know, the, know. the land animals on earth that we eat outnumber us ten to one. But my point is that you can't expect feed a human body with a plant to perform on the level we meant we're supposed to function. I completely oppose that with scientific data. Bro, you know, um, you know, you have a mount mountains of science supporting plant-based diets and it's just the, the evidence isn't on your team with this in my know. opinion all this data is just the way to manipulate and control the masses that's a conspiracy theory that's not based in any evidence well that's we your opinion like we have the uh, academy of nutrition and dietetics with a big peer-reviewed statement and they weren't this statement wasn't peer-reviewed by vegans okay and they're saying a plant-based diet can be healthy for all stages of the lifestyle, pregnancy, infancy, it's adulthood. in essential vitamins and minerals and proteins no, and no, fats. No, that's not true. It is. No, it's not. Um, it's just a, a diet that isn't well planned is deficient. Now, you can be a meat eater and eat, be eating a deficient diet. So right. it's not anything inherent in a plant-based diet if it's well planned. So if vegan diet is uh, lacking vitamin B12, well, and you have to only way to get it is to inject yourself. Into no, the that's not true. So that's not true. What other way can you? You can get it? it from a supplement without injecting yourself. All right. But so what's the problem there? Prove that a supplement is not the same as if if it's come from a natural source. What's it, where does a B12 come from? Well, it's in 
basically anything that has something to do with bacteria, right? So B12 is produced by bacteria that lives where? Yeah. In our gut. Where does it come from? Well, it's a, it's the way, you know, the energy is transmitting in our body. Okay, you've just proved you know nothing about B12. So you're using that as an argument to justify an animal holocaust. This is the no, problem here. We can go so, deeper. Let's no, go no, deeper. no, that's fine. You don't know anything about B12, and I'm not no, trying to make you. I'm not trying to okay. make you feel bad or anything. I'm cool. just saying, like, you're justifying something horrific right now, no. and you don't know where B12 no, comes I'm from. No animal makes vitamin B12. Cows don't make B12. Chickens don't make it. Pigs don't make it. No animal makes vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is made by bacteria that live in the soil. Animals have B12 in their flesh because they're eating grass all day. And on the roots of the grass they're eating, there are particles of soil. And in these soil particles are these B12 producing microbes. Along comes modern sanitation. Nobody's drinking out of streams anymore. Nobody's eating unwashed vegetables anymore. And for due to modern sanitation, which is okay with me, I don't want to treat cases of cholera and typhoid fever, it's okay to put chlorine in the water supply, but meanwhile it's there to kill bacteria and it kills the B12 producing organism. And because of modern sanitation, the classic natural B12 sources have dropped out of our lives. And it's for that reason that today's vegan has to use supplemental vitamin B12. I believe methylcobalamin is the most absorbable form. 500 micrograms, 1,000 micrograms under your tongue twice a week, three times a week should meet everybody's needs. I'm here for a humans, bro. Me too. Me too. And okay. if you were getting abused and killed and chopped up and someone was getting, saying B12 though, I'd be protecting you as well and saying that's nonsense. Do you know what I'm, I mean? I'm not trying to justify the way we kill animals, but I'm telling you that you can't come to me and say that to provide, to give me an adequate diet by feeding me with plants, bro. Well, I'm telling you mountains because of... That's I, I don't, the way. You don't obviously know enough about nutrition for me to have a nutritional discussion with you because yeah. you don't know where and B12 you, comes you, from. All right. You don't know where B12 comes from to start with. Is it made by the bacteria? So, so would you, you like can, me... You can get it in natto, right? Because it's fermented. You can get it in sauerkraut, well, maybe. I can... I, well, so you know you can get plant-based forms of B12 already. So yeah. you know. So why but, would you justify something horrific if you know you can get B12 without stabbing an animal in the throat? Okay. Go yeah. outside of the city and survive man show me how many plants you will find where do you live to survive where do you live in the middle of the city so why am i having that discussion with you you don't live because outside the city i'm trying to give you the natural environment that we're supposed to live in and the Brother. city is not healthy environment to well, be well you live in there the you live place. there i'm telling you you can be vegan in the city right now yeah i'm just so, climbing so it's from me to you i'm just climbing the ladder to be able to tell people underneath me that this is not the way to go but I can't tell you, don't do it unless I will do it first. You know what I mean? I'm here to speak for the animals that have been tortured and killed for Man, you. Look, I know, you know your background and you don't know my background, okay? What's your I will background? I'll tell you my background. Okay. I've been born in vegan family. My father is mm -hmm. obsessed with eating animal based. It sounds diet. like he's not he's not vegan. It sounds like he's plant based for health. Yeah. So he's not vegan for animal yeah. rights. And uh, luckily I wasn't 100% vegan because it could be definitely worse. Why? Because I was born. So you've never been vegan? Oh, I was vegan. You for said you've never own, been 100% vegan? Yeah, I was for one year when I was 13 to 14. Okay. Because I wanted to see on myself if Was it a well-planned diet? Yeah, very well. Hey, 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 how, how did you plan your diet? Look, man, I done my absolute best to get the amount of information to look after myself. Well, and if it's at 13 better, years old, I yeah. find that hard to believe. Okay. And how old are well, you now? I'm very dedicated. How old I'm are you? You're 24. So you're talking 10 years ago, the same information doesn't exist. Now, I mean. back then, the information that we have now Bro. is we have much more information and much more science now than you did when and you were 13. People still suffering from eating this diet. You know, people are I suffering from eating a meat and dairy diet too. But dude. because have you looked at the hospital, who's who's filling up the hospital? Vegans? No. Nah. You know what? Heart disease patients. Yeah, but and you know how they treat them with carbs and processed sugar. They treat no, they don't. They give them bacon and eggs in the morning. What hospital are you going to? They don't give you carbs and sugar. Nah. They give you bacon nah. and eggs. They give them basically a low cholesterol diet that makes them even more prone to infections mm -hmm. and those people are actually dying because of infections oh, have really? you oh, actually really? all right, you don't even know where b12 comes from get... and you're a scientist now when it comes to health yeah now, now i'm been, telling you i've been actually getting some good resources from someone like a uh, natasha mcbrien who is he doctor who well she's a doctor that treat her own child that has autism uh, oh yeah i've yeah. heard of this she feeds him organs and stuff yeah. like yeah yeah ridiculous that's not based in any science at all that's no, called an that's anecdote a, that's the base in our she has no science man i don't we've care got about science. science as long as okay. we live 
healthy and free life. So, you know? so we're having a debate about science versus some lady who fed her kid organs, and you're telling me that's research? She's not some lady. She's actually a very well-educated woman. She's a nobody. Okay. You, and who when, are you then? Well, I'm referencing science. Well, and I'm so you don't worry about what I say about health. Reference the science. How can you tell about someone who actually helps other people to be healthy, say she's nobody? She's feeding kids organs. How is that helping anyone to be organ uh, healthy? That's animal abuse. Right? You can be healthy. You, Man, you won't listen you're to missing science. The point, bro. bro, what's your name again? Frank. Frank, you won't listen to peer reviewed research, but you'll listen to some lady like, on the I, internet. If I wouldn't be that's there ridiculous. In myself in the first place, I wouldn't try to argue do, with you. Do you, you realize okay? that's ridiculous? I have my first. Okay, now we are obviously not no, listening no, no, to No, 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 listen. Each other. Listen, you, don't, you won't listen to science peer reviewed by non vegans from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, mm -hmm. but you'll listen to some lady. Okay, I will give you a one idea, all right? 50 years ago, we were told that saturated fat is bad for us. Still is. Cool. So you know what happened since then? Since then, we replaced our calories with sugar. You know what happened then? Uh, who said sugar's good? Cardiovascular. Listen. Who said sugar's good for you? you pr you're telling me the science We're having a, we're having a health debate here. We were following a science-based reviews, whatever you said. Man, my English is not... No one said sugar's good for you. All Who's right. standing here saying, eat sugar, eat sugar? Not me. Well, we I'm still, telling you not still to stab animals. It. We're still recommended What's this the got diet okay. based on carbs, which is majority of got, plants. Whole, whole food plant-based diet is yeah. healthy for you. I don't care about what you say about that. I'm All talking right, about so how do you justify murdering animals? So, uh, that camera is taking a video of me, and I'm it's very public, happy with that. It's a public place. I hope you will post it. I will. Because I will. if, if you, what you just said, you just said that you don't care about what I have to say. Because you're not referencing any science, you're using anecdotes. I'm just telling you a science-based review in America that says that saturated fat is bad for you. Are you denying this? Saturated fat is bad for you, yeah. Okay, you're denying I agree. that. All right. I agree it's bad for you. So I'm not, I don't deny saturated fat is bad the, for you, it the, is bad for what's you. What's the then connection between after dropping the saturated fat from the diet, the rates of cardiovascul uh, cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer, dementia, diabetes? Dropping saturated fat helps all those things? No, since since we took the fat away, all those uh, diseases rising exponentially. How, how is that possible? Oh really? So me? you're telling me that no one eats saturated fat and cholesterol anymore? Are you out of your mind? Everyone eats meat, dairy and eggs. Except for vegans. You're tripping. I'm tripping. You're tripping. Everyone eats saturated fat and cholesterol. So Do you name one person you know who doesn't eat saturated fat and cholesterol? You know what's in meat, dairy vegans. and eggs. Vegans eat that. We don't. We don't eat saturated fat and cholesterol unless we're well, eating coconut oil and there's no cholesterol in plant-based well, diet. Should eat coconut so oil. bro, you're tripping. You're tripping on this you health should. thing. You don't know what you're talking about, mate. So the, I, what, I, what American I, what You don't know what you're talking about. You, you just know proved the it pyramid? to me. You just, you just proved you don't know what you're talking about. On the bottom is carbohydrates. Why? How do you, why why is the carbohydrates hey. the main energy source? Like the, you, what's the your brain run on? Hey? What's your brain run on? On glucose. Oh, where does that come from? Well, Animals? You, your body can actually okay. simulate it. Yeah. Go into the nature and show me the source of okay. your sugar. So tell me. So you prove, right, you prove to me you don't know nothing about what you're talking you, about. You're I'm an animal me. rights activist. I know more about health than you, and you're a health freak. All right. So it's, it's, it's pathetic. Look, listen to this. All right. Look what's happening on the screen, Man, uh, and you're having an argument about B12 and know, saturated fat. We all fat. know this is a problem. Okay. Let's you're an, you're committing animal abuse when you pay for this. And how can you, you just sit here and you talk about what saturated fat? Bro? What? Tell me. What am I doing wrong to you? You're basically trying to take away who we are as a humans, and you're putting your ideology in you're order an, to. You're paying for animal abuse. What do you want me to say? That we are all wrong, man. You you're, know what I think? Do you think this is wrong? You, all, you admit this is wrong. We're all trying to do our best. That's the truth. No, you're not. And there is no, better ways to do things. No, you're, not. you're a grown man. But you're a yeah, grown man, I right? Am. You need to know that you're paying for animal abuse. Cool. You need to know that. Where cool. are you getting I your meat? I live with that, bro. Where are you getting your meat? Out of a slaughterhouse. But I, I know that in my heart, if I could do better, I would do it. Well, why don't you do it then, dude? I'm why are you it. arguing with me? I'm trying to do the right thing by these animals. Yeah, cool. Okay. But you can't do the right thing if you if you recommend me to eat sugar in the first place. I never said that, dude. Yeah, you said. I you just, said, uh, go I'm recording this, it. mate. Yeah, cool. I told you, no one told you to eat sugar. I'm trying okay? to tell you that our natural diet is not come from a plant. Whole food plant-based diet is healthy doesn't for you. Doesn't exist. That end of discussion, we have science. You don't need to argue with me. Look at the exist. research. In, in reality, your food doesn't exist. Where did you get your food from? You think these cows exist in nature? They're selectively bred by human beings. Cool. I would okay. kill something else in the nature. What? Anything that what? runs and has a meat. What? Whatever lives around what me, for? man. What Why would for? you do that? Why would you kill animals? For the fat? So I can sustain Why don't you, eat, the why don't you eat some nuts and seeds for fat? Because you can't find that in nature, man. Go into the Woolworths there. You it's all it's modified. It's right there, you this fool. Is all modified. Who cares? Cool. Where you getting well, Who you cares? Cool. Who cares? It's right there. It's right there. It's you, modified. You can walk in the it's genetically supermarket. modified. 
these people here who are buying products of animal abuse can walk into a supermarket and choose plant foods. Cool. All right? And That's why would they do it? Because it's a practical solution. It has nothing in it, plants. It's, it's denatured food, basically, that is not, you know, missing Based every essential. Based on what evidence? All right, you're missing Based all essential. Based on what evidence? All Provide right. your fucking research, mate. Yeah, you don't have cool. any. We've got peer-reviewed research mm, supporting yeah, plant-based diets. Yeah, cool. And you've got some lady who feeds their kids organs. It's called an anecdote. I don't know if you know what an anecdote is. Mm. It's a cool story. I call this absolute retardation. It's called a cool story. All, all what you're doing here, you're basically just we're trying to misleading We're people. trying to protect the animals that you're abusing. And I'm trying to protect the people, bro. From what? from fucking dying on shit diet that we're feeding and getting every day. Where is your evidence? This is a conspiracy theory. You know that, right? Oh, what? You're, you're spitting conspiracy theories without evidence. All right, so... I've provided you the research. You mm. can go look at it. It's a big, big peer-reviewed statement from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Cool. A non-vegan organization, all right? Okay. And you provided zero evidence. Okay, zero. So what they recommend? They recommend... Well, what do you mean, what do they recommend? They're saying plant-based diets can be healthy uh, for all stages How of the life. How come? They can be healthy for all stages of the life what cycle. What are the requirements of the diet that is essential or critical for a human health? Well, it doesn't contain, contain cholesterol and low and saturated fat. They're two good things, okay? Because those things are what uh, and what, contributing it to heart disease. What, what is the number thing, number one thing in plants that fiber, nutrients, water, all have these a, good things? Haven't eaten fiber for one year, feeling absolutely fine. And well, I feel what, sorry what for your bowels. Next? What was the next? You've got corpses decomposing in your bowels. Did you eat a carnivore diet? Yeah. Full carnival. Um, 95 percent, yeah. Oh, wow. That's disgusting. Well, you can say it, this disgusting. is an anecdote, but I feel very well. So your body's a tomb for animals? <laughs> That's what you say, but I actually believe that the animals give me the power that I hold today. That's a supremacist attitude. Cool. Human supremacy. Beautiful. What else? Yeah, I think you're an so animal you abuser. fiber. What's the next thing? I think that you abuse animals and you, yeah. I don't think you're really conscious of the animals right. that suffer in the slaughterhouse so for you. if you say that I abuse animals, you abuse plants. You're a, a plant killer. You drag them out. You're of giving the, me really good soul. content here, dude. Eh? Yeah. Because it's ridiculous. You for, compare an animal to a carrot, and look, you sound like yeah. a fool. Yeah. Look for so, your community and for your listeners. You sound is, like a fool right now, this mate. This sound like this. I, is what I'm you trying want to do here. you a favor here. If you think uh, animals are the same as a carrot, All right, listen, I'm listen, trying to do you a favor. My brother. name is. You can follow me on Instagram. We can talk about it, or you can just live your life. And, uh, Not abuse animals and people. I'm a, and I'm eating, a carrot abuser. Eating carrot and spending 10 minutes to chop it up and then cook it. Are you or a you carrot activist? Meat. Are you a carrot activist? You can just eat meat and that's it, man. Uh, we, we don't, don't want to abuse anything. animals. We don't want to abuse animals, mate. Well, cool. Do it your way. But if you're gonna yeah. come and touch my meat, bro, we're gonna have a problem, man. Wait, you're threatening me, mate. No, I'm not saying anything. What are you trying to threaten me for? I'm just telling you that if you're gonna try to take my natural diet away from me, what are you gonna do about it? You are then going into my rights. We're having a fucking discussion, You're going dude. into my rights. You're not getting blended my up in right, a fucking blender, dude. My right is to eat whatever I want to eat, okay? Your right is to abuse animals, yeah? Yeah, I'm not doing that. What gives that. you that I'm right? I'm buying different source anyway, so... Your source? I, I'm definitely Where's not your touched by this. Where do they get murdered? Well, in, they actually live some good life they on the They get shot in the head? You know? awesome. They get shot in the head? Yeah. You got the head cut off? Well, if I wouldn't live in the city, I would definitely be able to go and get my own meat. Are you proud of murdering animals? I'm just living the life that I are was you given. You sound proud. I'm very proud. Okay. And if I would live in the jungle, I would get animal every day, bro. I don't respect you that you murder animals and think cool. it's cool and you're and smiling. And I don't respect you because huh? you're sharing absolute bullshit. How? And How? Why? You tell How? me the fiber is good for me, man. Well, that's your first thing, bro. What okay. the fuck, man? Fiber is good for you, bro. I don't need fiber. I'm living fucking, I'm living my life. I've, okay. I'm, you know, okay. I've never felt better. You can better. eat shit too for a little while before you get sick too, mate. Like, well... All right, people in Antarctica, they only eat fucking meat from fish. We're not in Antarctica. There's a Woolworths right there. You can buy some plant-based food. Why would and I do it? Because you've been grossly misinformed and because you're abusing animals when you don't. Uh, uh. All right, let's talk about something that you maybe don't know that much about. Do you know Weston A. Price? That's something I like to talk yeah. about. He's a bullshit artist. What about him? Oh, why he is bullshit? He actually has the evidence. No, he doesn't. No, he traveled the world and he studied the people that eat their natural diets. This guy's been debunked a bunch of times. He's a bullshit artist. Look, you, you, you obviously you prove that you, you, want, you obviously man. prove you don't know anything about health, right? You, you, I, I don't claim to be some nutritional expert either. I'm just referencing research, right? Yeah. You, you reference people. I reference life, yeah. <laughs> it's called an anecdote when you reference research, oh, uh, uh, people. It's when you refer ref reference research, that's called science. When you reference Weston A. Price or some lady who feeds her kids organs, All right. that's what's called your, a cool what's story. Your values? Let's talk about values. I'm, if you want to judge gonna... me as a human, let's talk about values. 
What's Dali. your value in life? Yeah. That is? Yeah. I want to try to do my best to end the animal abuse on earth. All right. Okay. Another. What's another values that you hold? Be honest yourself? with people. Cool. Yeah. What beautiful. So you talk from your truth. Yes. Yeah. I talk from my truth. Talking from my truth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What else do we have in common? We're human beings. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do as a human beings? What are what's our we want to make instinct? Uh, well, I don't know what you want to do. What's your instinct? I, I can't read your mind. Okay, but I want to make the world a little bit better than it is. No, that's what okay. we share as well. Another okay. thing we share, uh -huh. because this is something that we can now build something on top of. You know, like mm. because now we just start trying to take away from each other, and I can't do it because you have your belief that's based in ego. I have. It's my not belief. based in ego. Yeah, it is. It's based in evidence. Yeah, it's slaughterhouses cool. are fucking evil. All right. Okay. All right. That's not ego. Yeah. It's, it's actually. It's you know what is ego. I get power from eating animals. That's yeah. ego. What power? Power from abusing the All innocent. Right, you, get, you, you tell you, I get power from eating plants, bro. What's the difference between between me and the rock? What's the plants difference? Plants don't suck. Well, I, I think there's a difference between you and a carrot. On, on the fucking global, on the universal level, we're all one consciousness. No, that's ridiculous. Cool. You're not the same as a carrot. If someone chopped up Man. a carrot, I ain't gonna protect them. If someone tried to stab you, if I'm you, gonna stop them. If you think that you're something else than from anyone else, you're the egoist. I think we're different from carrots. We are all we are all one man. So no. it, carrots don't point, deserve rights. You mate. are the egoistic because I believe I believe that you we're believe all you're one. the same as a rock. At some point, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, well, I, well I, I'm made I'm made out of the stuff. You, you think like a rock. Well. You think yeah. like a rock when cool. it comes to animal rights. Yeah, you do. You don't think yeah. you don't think from their position. Yeah, you just care about filling your stomach with their bodies, and I don't respect that. I wish you all the best. You I too. want your, you, too, you and your wife be on an amazing vegan depleted nutrition diet. And once your child, which is like me, gonna hate your parents for no, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be appreciate health. they're gonna be yeah. appreciate they once, didn't stab animals in the throat. Yeah, once your kid will be happy, uh, happy, healthy, strong human without braces and glasses, which is the result of eating. Do yeah. I have braces? Yeah. Have you been born on vegan diet, like me? Have you been fed by soy milk like me? Oh no, soy milk. What's that gonna do to you? Well, it's What's not soy milk? Give, oh, what it's beans? It's gonna give you the nutrients. You're scared of beans. Real meat, uh, real milk. What nutrients are in meat? Well, that you saturated need. fat. Oh, you need saturated. fat. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. Hey, when you were growing up, you definitely Who do. Who said? It. Where's your you evidence? Need cholesterol. Oh, you your body produces cholesterol. Your, your body doesn't uh, produce cholesterol. Not when you're a kid. I don't man. eat cholesterol. Well, I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah, oh my god, you're I'm gonna a die. You're human, man. <laughs> you're not a fucking. Your body produces cholesterol, dude. So, so you know, right, you're so proving you don't know anything about yeah, health. I'm not so even a health if advocate. A, if you drink a, I'm a, a fucking animal milk. rights activist. I know more than you, bro. Look, look. You're I'm an animal right. Put me down. No, I'm trying, trying to make. To I'm trying to get you to do some research before you come and talk to me. You think that I haven't done my research? You haven't. Otherwise, you'd know we produce our own cholesterol. Yes. You would know that, brother. But if you're a kid, you can't do that much cholesterol. That's why you drink. You don't a breast have any milk. evidence for your That's claims. That's why you drink a breast milk because yeah. it has animal oh, fat. For how long? Animal protein. For how long? In your critical stage of how, development. Do you still drink breast milk now? Well, I, w I would if I would have. The do you access. drink cow's milk? Uh, Be honest. Yeah, cold breast okay, milk. Okay, you're still breastfeeding. Yeah. Cool. Time well, to grow up. At least I'm. To grow up, mate. I'm growing every day. Not a baby cow, bro. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Is it cold or not? Well, I just got into a health discussion at an animal rights event. I don't like doing that. It's a typical anti-vegan carnivore, but he proved that he doesn't know what he's talking about many times in that discussion. And when you reference people instead of research, it's called a cool story, you know? That's all it is. And you have to hold your ground with him. Like, look, I don't claim to be a nutritional expert. I'm here for animal rights. But when you use ridiculous justifications that you don't even have any, you haven't done any research on or any real research on, you just listen to like random people on the internet, then I'm gonna call you out for it. So that's it.